Hey, it's Featured Foodie Friday, and our good friend Julia Spaulding from Indianapolis Monthly is here, joined by Timmy Campbell, a.k.a. The Corn Man. What's up, guys? How you doing? Hi. Happy to have you here, Timmy. Welcome to the show. Uh, your reputation precedes you. We have heard great things about your product. You got a food truck. You specialize in corn. You got a great logo. Um, tell us about more about your background and how you came up with The Corn Man. Thank you so much. Hello, Indy. Uh, well... My name is Timmy Campbell. I'm from Houston, Texas. Hello, H-Town. Uh, I moved to Northwest Indiana in Gary, Maryville area okay. when I was about 16. Yep. And I moved here when I was 21, and I'm 35 now. I've been here ever since. Wonderful. And uh, in Gary, Indiana, East Chicago area, shout out to my sister, Oshi. She introduced me to the corn man. Okay. He uh, would walk around ringing a bell in the morning. Yeah. And every time we heard that bell, we knew that was the corn man with his cart. Okay. And uh, <laughs> in Texas as well, yeah. extremely popular. Sure. Uh, it, it, uh, there's a grocery store called Fiesta. Okay. If you walk outside Fiesta, uh, Houston, they know. Um, you see a corn stand. Yeah. And that's where we we, we get our elotes. Okay. So uh, when I moved to Indianapolis, and uh, I needed to find something to uh, so to find a source of income. Yes. And uh, I decided to introduce street corn to Indianapolis okay. because it wasn't as popular here, which is very surprising. Yeah. Uh, so I did my research in 2019. I started off with a canopy and a table. There you go. And I did the Marion County Fair. Yeah. And uh, from there, I decided it was easier to go mobile. Sure. So I did what I had to do. Uh, shout out to my daughter's mother. Um, I'm a single father. Yeah. I took my daughter to her and Gonna be honest, I slept in my car for a year. Okay, all right. And I built up my funds to he, finance my food truck. And here you are now, man. Uh, and right. people are gonna learn about your food. Julia, talk to us about why you chose to showcase Timmy as this month's feature food. I truck. mean, what a great story. Yeah, I <laughs> yeah, love that story. Said, it's great. Um, I, you know, we think of corn as being this Midwestern thing, yep. but it is also a cornerstone of Mexican food. Yes. Um, so they, the two cult, food cultures kind of come together in this neat way, and it's especially fun when someone like Timmy, you know, kind of takes it, does his own spin on it. Yeah. So he's just been out there uh, doing his own version of elotes and esquites. Okay. And with such passion and just kind of like making it his own art form. Yeah, that's So great. it's great to see all the all the things that he's doing and okay. we're, we're looking forward to, to seeing more. And he's also like rolled out some amazing desserts as well. As nice, part of this yeah, one. I saw those brownies and some of these, uh, what is that, a pie over there? Cheesecake. Yeah. Cheesecake. Oh, come on now. Well, I gotta see some <laughs> corn, man. Let's do it. All right. Yeah, show us how you make it. Let me go ahead and get my gloves Of on. course, yes, <laughs> yes, keeping things sanitary, of course. Man, how long have you had the food truck? Uh, about four years now. Okay, great. Um, in the wintertime, this leads to the bacon, in the wintertime, yeah. you know, food trucks get a little slow. Sure. Uh, so I had to compensate that income, so uh, I decided to bake. Okay. Uh, with that being said, I would like to thank my beautiful mother, Venus. Yes. For giving me her cheesecake recipe. Uh, it's a She's favorite. Right All right, shout out to Venus. I love how many shout outs you've given, man. It is. A, yes. it, it seems like it's a community effort. Oh yes. yes. Of, of you, no, uh, no person does it all alone, right? Yes. yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh -huh. uh, I, I like to give praise uh, when it's due. Yeah. And last year, my food truck was actually stolen. Okay. Um, and a month later, it was found. Wow. That they stripped it. You know, they took all my equipment. Yeah. And uh, thanks to my insurance, it covered about forty-five percent. Okay. Um, but. Man, that 55%, that really hurt me. Yeah. It's been a long, it's, I, I will admit, Indy, it has been a long few months for me. Um, I had uh, created a GoFundMe. Yeah. Um, if anybody is willing uh, to donate, that would be greatly appreciated. Okay. I know life is life and uh, anything would be, uh, I'd be extremely grateful. Awesome. Um, I'd like to thank my grandmother, yeah. uh, Faye. She helped me very much, uh, and my auntie Judy, she helped me as well financially. Okay. So let's get to this corn. All right. What I like go. to do <laughs> is my first scoop, it'll be a nice big scoop. Yeah. Hearty. Oh, yeah. yeah. Then the next one, about a half a scoop. Okay. All right. And All what right. goes on next? Then what I like to do, this was a gift from me in 2019 yeah. from uh, a vendor at the Marion County Fair. Thank you so much for this. I had it five years. I, I will never lose this. Okay. <laughs> Sprinkle a little salt, salt. Mm, come on now. Now mayo. Yes. Here we go. Yes. Now the trick with the mayo with me is I did a lot of research. Yeah. Don't include too much. Okay. I, it's, it's more, 
use for a bind, as a binder. Okay, all right, good uh, to know. Because if you put too much, yeah. it'll tend to get liquidy and milky, yeah. and it's a bit un unappetizing. That was like a small tablespoon. Yeah, just, it, just right? a little tad bit. Okay, what's next? Butter. Come on now. Oh yeah. Let's go. Midwest staple. We have to. Yeah. Oh yeah. There we go. Oh my. A little spray. Oh my. All right. Right. Next. Yep. My cheese. Come on. What are you using? This my this my uh this is grated Parmesan cheese. Okay. All right. This my little stance when I do I, the I was cheese. Say, like, me on the food just truck. Just yeah. You gotta there. you gotta get the yeah. right posture tap for the cheese. There. You gotta right. tap it. All right. Just a little tappy tap. Yeah. All Generous right. Generous there with the cheese. Oh yeah. You can okay. never have too much cheese. And then we're going another Back scoop. Back to the corn. corn. Okay. All right. Happy oh my scoop. gosh. Wow. This is great. If I did it right, this should be the final scoop. Okay. All right. Yep. What's next? We're going back to the cheese. More, oh my gosh. Julie, I can see why you chose Timmy. <laughs> yes. For a featured Foodie <laughs> Friday. And where can people, as Timmy's doing the last couple steps on here, where right. can people get uh, the new issue of Indianapolis Monthly? The issue is on newsstands now. It's up here somewhere. Yeah, it's right here. Um, we, you can also go to IndianapolisMonthly.com yep. to read a, more about Timmy. And he actually gave us a recipe okay. for Esquites, so you can also do this at home. Wonderful. That's amazing. Can I get a bite of that? We got a little, uh, you know what? I'm, I'm going to use a spoon right here. Absolutely. Mayo With extra yeah. mayo. A little bit of extra creamy binder here. Here we all go. All right, and I make sure you oh. mix that real good oh, yeah, in the words buddy. of my daughter Mary. <laughs> okay, all right. Where can people follow along with you, Timmy? Oh, man, you can follow me everywhere on Facebook and Instagram yep. at THA Corn Man. Uh, my website is oh, yeah. cornmanapp.com. Mm. That's cornmanapp.com. Bro, uh, this is so good. <laughs> I, so tasty. I like to hear it. Look, you, <laughs> mm. I ain't gonna be able to get it out. You got me cheesing. <laughs> I'm finishing this whole thing. Thank you so much. Go get the latest copy, Indianapolis Monthly, a great resource, especially if you're new to town or maybe you've lived in Indy for 20, 30 years and you want to know what's going on in town. Go check it out. Julia, Timmy, thank you so much. Enjoy thank your weekend. You, thank you. Thank you. Hey. Yeah, coming up next, Chef Kylie Scales is here with a creative and fun Earth Day themed recipe for pudding cups. That's gonna be fun, dirt pudding. And there she is with the cutest little sous chef, Penelope. We'll be right back, friends. Stick around.